Openings Manager is a plugin for automating the creation of openings in the places where MEP elements cross with architectural or structural elements. With the help of Openings Manager, you can automatically find intersections and create openings where it is necessary, ignoring the MEP structures with the sizes more or less than the determined ones. Set the offset from the element to determine the opening size. The plugin allows you to check if the opening is correct or not, assign the status to it and adjust if necessary in a convenient table format. Create a smooth openings modeling workflow between architects, structural engineers and MEP specialists. Improve the quality of your project by automatically detecting and creating prototypes in all the intersection points. Save a lot of time that you would otherwise spend on creating the openings manually. In order to understand the logic behind the openings manager and to use it in the most efficient way, let's look at the workflow of openings creation that we use at Eneka. There are two major roles in openings creation – an architect or a structural engineer on one side and a MEP specialist on the other. The first step is the creation of prototype openings by an architect or a structural engineer. The plugin automatically finds the intersections between structural or architectural elements and MEP elements and creates prototype openings in these points. The family for prototype opening is being loaded automatically the first time you use the plugin in your Revit project. After the prototypes have been created, the architect or structural engineer checks them, adds new prototypes if necessary, copies prototypes from one level to another, writes comments and deletes unneeded prototypes. Then the architect or the structural engineer shares his or her model with the MEP engineers. For this step we suggest using our free share model plugin. After model sharing, the MEP engineer takes over the work. He or she checks the created prototype openings, edits them, creates new prototypes if needed, writes comments, approves or denies the prototypes. When the check is finished, the MEP engineer shares the MEP model with the colleagues. Steps 2, 3 and 4 can be repeated until all the openings are approved by the MEP engineer. When everyone is happy with the approved openings, the architect or a structural engineer converts prototypes into openings in his or her model and shares the changes with the team afterwards. As with the prototype families, the opening families are being loaded automatically on first use of the plugin. Let's see how it works within the Revit project. Step 1. Create prototype openings. Open the NACA tab and start the plugin by clicking the Openings Manager button. There are two main tabs – Architect or Structural Engineer and MEP Engineer. Choose the tab that refers to your role in the project. Fill in your department's acronym which will be used in the WXS name of Prototypes and Openings families. This acronym can be changed at any time if necessary. MEP elements that need to be excluded from the intersection search can be specified by filling in this part of the MEP family name. The plugin also allows you to unify several openings into one automatically by specifying the maximum clear distance between two MEP elements. You can also enable or disable linked files so that they would be included in or excluded from the intersection search and prototypes creation. Confirm the field in setting by clicking the Save button. If you need to change the above settings, click the Settings button in the upper right corner of the plugin window. Notice that the interface of the tabs differ from each other. The Architect or Structural Engineer tab has the function to convert the prototype into openings, while the MEP Engineer tab does not have this function. The application checks if the needed families for openings and prototypes have been loaded into the project and automatically loads or updates these families if necessary. Therefore, if the plugin is used in the project for the first time, a new window with the message that new families will be loaded into the project will appear. After that, you need to create prototype openings. 
click the automatic prototype creation button. A new window appears that allows you to specify the information for prototype openings. Select linked files from the drop-down list. These files will be used in the intersection search with architectural or structural elements in your document. Then select the categories below to include or exclude them from the intersection search. Fill in the desired offset from the outermost edge of the MEP element to set the geometry size of the newly created prototype family. Specify the element size range within which the openings need to be created. If at least one side of the communication is out of the range, the prototype opening will not be created. For example, if you do not need openings for the pipes less than 100 mm diameter, set 100 mm as a lower limit. Select the type of intersection. The search of intersections with all selected categories allows the user to carry out a search within the whole model. The search of intersections with element allows you to select specific element in your model. The search of intersections within the current view allows you to find only the intersections with the elements that appear in the opened view. The search of intersections on levels makes it possible to specify the level in the model. Exclude structural framing allows you to select the elements that should not be cut through. Then select the shape of the opening. It can be automatically determined or predetermined by the user round or rectangular. Then choose the necessary design stage for your model and the linked files. After confirming the setting by the Create button, the process of prototype creation begins. Step 2. Check prototypes. All openings prototypes in the project will be displayed in the table with tabs. Each tab represents a linked file in which an intersection has been detected. Each prototype opening has its status. There are four statuses available – Ignore, Denied, Waiting and Approved. You can change the prototypes or openings properties directly in the table. You can take a closer look at the prototype by clicking the 3D View button. If you want to quickly find the element from the 3D view right in the table, select the element first and then click on the Find in the Schedule function under the Ineca tab. This element will be highlighted and marked in the table. Make sure that you change the properties of the prototype right in the table, but not in the Properties panel, as it may cause errors. Using the table you can delete prototypes or leave comments. You can sort out the elements if needed by clicking the relevant column name. Using the plugin, you can manually create rectangular or circular prototypes, as well as copy prototypes from one level to another, retaining all properties. Step 3. Shear model. After creating the prototype openings, save your project and share it with your colleagues using our free Shear model plugin. Take a look at our video about this plugin for more information. Step 4. Check and approve prototypes. After prototype openings have been created, MEP Engineer takes over the check and approval of the prototypes. Start the plugin in the MEP Revit model. Select the MEP tab in the window appeared. In the table, all the prototypes and openings are listed both from the currently opened and linked Revit files. If you do not see the table, click the Update button in the bottom left corner. In the table, the L sign indicates that the prototype is located in the linked file. You can copy elements from the linked files if necessary. After copying, the old element from the linked file will have the status Ignore. You can also change the properties of the linked elements right in the table, and after updating the links in linked files, these changes will be applied. If you want to observe the properties of the opening in the Properties palette, make sure that the Select Links and Select Linked Elements functions are active. You can change the status of the prototype to Approved or Denied, depending on whether it meets your requirements or not. 
In order to choose multiple prototypes, hold the Shift button and tick the lines that you need. When all the necessary changes have been made, close the table and they will be applied automatically. Step 5. Convert prototypes into openings. We can see the changes in the elements made by MEP specialists. Both new and edited openings are marked with a triangle in the top left corner of the row. You can copy these newly created or modified prototypes and delete yours. Then select the prototypes with the status Approved and convert them to openings using the Convert to Opening button. After creating the openings, save your project and share it with your colleagues using our free Share Model plugin. To sum it up, Openings Manager enables efficient and reliable workflow of openings creation in a multidisciplinary Revit project. If you want to purchase the Openings Manager license or you need to have more information about this plugin, please contact us at our website aneka.nl. The team of our IT developers will be happy to help you to create the automation means for your specific needs.